<clears throat> Hello, I wanted to do a quick uh, video on this Shelby Mustang for sale. <laughs> Putting it on eBay this evening. That's my little junkyard dog. Um, but anyway, it's a it's a it's a nice original Shelby Mustang. Um, it's original interior. Uh, there might be a panel or two replaced on the side down there, but the rest of it's original. Original wear too. <laughs> Back seat's all original. That looks great. All the roll bar looks good, and it's got the right donuts here. I hate it when they got those cheap ones there, but those are the originals. They're real pliable. Those are nice. Um, original steering wheel. It's nice and straight. I redid the wood. And uh, use a new center cap. It's a little chrome there. It's a little corroded. The wheel looks pretty good. You know, they have one seam down there, right there. But it's nice and straight. It's not all bent up. Original gauges. Original Ford shifter. It's a little sloppy. You have to slap it to the left to get it in first gear. Dash is just wasted. I put new door panels on it yesterday. That passenger seat looks pretty decent for original. You know, these, all the scallops are on it. The backing looks good on them. They're kind of hard to find. Pedals are good. They move up and down straight. The cowl leaks a little bit. You can see it leaked there a little bit. I just washed it. Uh, I don't think the cowl's horrible, but it leaks. Um, original gauge is down there. Uh, the oil pressure gauge isn't working because the line is broken. I hooked up the line temporarily this past summer and there was tons of oil pressure. The motor really does sound good in this car. It's the original motor. The build date on it is uh, it's April of 67. I think the car was built in May. Uh, original uh, just about everything on that motor is original. We'll talk about that in a minute. Original carpet's in here, nice and worn and faded. <laughs> um, these quarters have been replaced. Uh, the rest of the metal is all original. The green paint's underneath these doors here on the inside. So they are the original doors. Uh, the original front fenders. The original glass is in it, and the glass looks pretty good. It's got the Autolite script on it, or the car light. Um, somebody painted black in the day, probably back in the 70s or 80s. Um, here's just the fourth tire for the one that's been replaced uh, to make it all Cooper Cobra. Is this one right here? Uh, I only got four rims with it. Um, spare is nothing to write home about. Trunk floors got a little bit of rust, but trunk floors are pretty solid. Uh, I think there's just a little bit of rust on this side. You'll see a picture of it. A little bit of rust here. Original fiberglass is all throughout the car, front and rear and the front end. Um, I just put these on here. These are actually, this is actually an NOS piece. It says barely glued on there, so you can take it off when the car is restored. Uh, these old beat up stripes on it. Again, that's another NOS piece. Just that you can be taken off and put when you restore it if you do restore it. Kind of like the patina. <laughs> original front fiberglass, original hood. Got some problems, but nothing that can't be fixed with a little resin because it's fiberglass. I see the front fenders are pretty good on the car. I don't really see any mud in them. Somebody's boogered around with this probably when they had a little bit of bigger tires, but they didn't change the outside. Uh, again, original door. Uh, a little bit of mud here when they put those quarters on. That's typically how they did it. So they put a full quarter on, which is good. They did a clean job in there. Uh, you can see it's not original quarter because it's not smooth in there. I mean, it's not rough. It's smooth. And that was probably done back in the 80s, too. Original back glass looks good. So does the trim. Again, a new door panel. That's the only thing not original in the interior of the car. Um, all the emblems are original. Like I said, the shifter, the carpet is. All the lights seem to work. Doors. Um, there's a little bit of rust on this outer rocker. But it's really not a big deal. I've fixed these before. You just It's just on the outer part here. All you gotta do is cut it out and weld another piece in. 
the part where the spot weld is beautiful. The bottom is and the inside is. On the inside of the car is nice. So all you got to do is fit this. It was a, there was a mouse nest there. That's always the problem when those rust. Just about. A little bit of rust right there. This wheel lip molding looks, wheel lip looks pretty good. A little bit of noise there, but pretty good. Not too bad. His quarters. Uh, the floors are pretty good in the back. There might be a little rust. I have a picture of that on the auction. The front is pretty bad up there by the pedals. The, the, the torque box on that side is just, just really messed up. And this side has a hole too up front. Uh, let's see if we can get under there. You can see right there. And the frame rails up front have just a little spot here and there, like right there. That needs to be cleaned up. But the floors actually aren't too bad. Again, there's that pinch weld where that rust is down there on that outer rocker, and it's... Can't really see well under there. The, uh, the engine aprons are all good on the car. That's important to me. It's never been a front-end accident. All the spot welds are there. Uh, down in there, it's all real clean. The shock tires look good. It's got the typical rust at the top. But it's got like original spot weld right here. That's important. That means that panel's original. And underneath this was a very nice, clean Ford VIN. Nicely stamped. I know how Ford stamped them. I see them all the time. Stamped crooked up and down. Those are not original. These should be almost straight. They're a little bit a little bit up and down, but overall, you look at it, glance, they should be straight and positioned perfectly. And that number has been verified with the club. And that is the original uh, Shelby tag there. That is the original. And it's got the Z in front of it, which I think they put them on there just because they didn't want anybody to add numbers. Everybody's always been trying to figure out why they did that. I think they just did it to stop so no one would add a number. But I haven't looked at that in a long time, so I could be wrong. But it only makes sense that they would put something at the beginning to stop from adding a digit. And then, of course, the, the only thing not original on this motor that I can see is that this, this carburetor is there is an original 715, but it's a month off. It was built after the car. So I don't know if the car went back for service. That is the original hypo distributor. Valve covers are original, the original Cobra intake. Uh, like I said, the build date on the motor is April of 67, and it's stamped right over here, right there on that. And uh, it matches up perfectly. Original exhaust manifolds, re original power steering pump with the big pulley. <laughs> Try to find one of those pulleys. I put a reproduction radiator in it and a reproduction uh, fan shroud on it, because I like fan shrouds. I think they belong on there. The original... Uh, cooling fan on these was just a four blade standard Mustang one. I put the C8 SE one which is a flex fan. Well, I think it's the best fan Ford ever made. It flexes and it, it pulls a lot of good air. It's 17 inch which belongs on Mustang. It's got the uh, big, big pulley on the front of the alternator but I don't think that's the original one. Original yellow top coil. Chokes all hooked up. This car starts exceptionally well. Uh, I just, it's about 40 degrees or in the upper 30s today. I didn't even put the choke on, pumped the gas, and car fired right up. I built, rebuilt the brakes. I put new master cylinder, uh, new calipers. I didn't rebuild the old ones, they were too messed up. Uh, some of the brake lines were replaced, and I put new wheel cylinders on the back, and new shoes on the front, two pad, new pads on the front. It, it stops pretty good. Pedal distance is good. Uh, like I said, these aprons are pretty good. Uh, I don't see any bubbling up and down these seams. I don't, you know, I hate that. These are just, you see the nice clean spot wells. It's the original export brace. I put a new timing chain on it with an NOS timing cover. New water pump, new fuel pump. It's not the right fuel pump, the original, but it's, it's an aftermarket. Uh, I don't know, I can't remember the name right now that I use it. It's got the original a Thermactor bracket on it. This was a Thermactor car. Uh, Let's see. What else? Um, oh, here's I want to point out some more rust here. All along here is the worst of it. The front of this rail here and this support underneath the radiator here. And that rail from the battery acid. 
original front sway bar. New hoses, brake hoses. But yeah, this is the worst of it right here. And like I said, the uh, I think the floor supports have a little bit on them. Uh, one side's better than the other. Uh, you can see the new f my aftermarket fuel pump. New hoses. The, the heater core just started leaking. That's always fun. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> um, it's got the small springs for the hood like it should. Instead of the standard Mustang ones. Let's take a look over here right, to see what we see. Oh, well, that torque box isn't horrible. And that floor support's got a little bit. This is a floor support. It's not part of the rail. People call it the rail. It's the floor support. It supports the floor. It's got a little rust there, but the floors really aren't that bad. It's not, you know, it's not good, but it ain't horrible. It's look. Yeah, see that is that. There's that torque box. It's it's a, not too too bad, but uh, original rear end still got the original tag on it. The, the VIN stamp is the Ford VIN stamp is on the partial VIN is on the transmission. Definitely original trans, original motor. Hypo, still got the hypo cam in it. Nobody's boogered around with it. Dual point distributor is right. Um, let's see, what else? Original rear end with the, th this, the, the C7ZX tag on. Let's fire it up here. Move over, Mutsi. Coming in. Oops, where are the keys? Clutch is nothing to write home about. It slips. Alternator works. Like I said, that line's not hooked up. I had it hooked up for a while in the summer and it excellent oil pressure. A little bit of mouse hole up here. Oh, isn't that cute? Other than that, the top's actually pretty darn good, the headliner. Somebody put those stickers on there in the day. Or maybe the factory even did them. But I think they did it after, but I'm not sure. sound. You can hear the clatter of the solid lifters. They're not out of adjustment. I didn't adjust them. It just doesn't get any better than that. It really doesn't. Nice. You can see where the belt was hooked up for the uh, Thermactor. There's an unused uh, pulley up the front there. Uh, What else? Original horns. They don't. The horns don't work. I believe everything works on the car. I know the blinkers work. Yep. 
original choke still on it, right there. Original AM radio, doesn't work. The dash lights work, horn doesn't work. They never work on these, they were not very well built. That's bad, that should be fixed. The steering wheel looks pretty good, that's the original wood. It needs another coat of uh, polyurethane clear. I think I put two coats on it. Really should have a third. Um, I don't have any owner's manual. I wish I did. You know, if you're looking for a car that's original that needs to be restored, this is the car. I don't think you need to rebuild that motor. When I took the timing chain cover off, it had the hatchet on the front of the. Uh, uh, the crank hatchet is on there to offset the weight of the rods, the heavier rods on a hypo. Uh, so I think it'll run a long time. No smoke. I haven't seen a puff of smoke from it. The exhaust smells good. You know, it's not, uh, I don't see any blow by. That's another thing you always want to check. See, the motor's got excessive blow by. I don't see nothing. Of course, I don't have the PVC unhooked, but if it had excessive blow by, it would be coming out there, even with the PVC. Well, the PVC doesn't even work that much at idle. It's restricted so that it doesn't mess up your idle. That's about it. Oh, let's look at this quarter. A little bit of something going on there. A little bit of rust. Oh, I think one of these doors has a hole in the bottom of it. Uh, this one's not too bad. The other one has a hole about the size of it. Oh, I can't. This Got the snow bumps up here. That's important. So that when the car squats, it pushes on the springs to get more traction. It's like a cheap, a cheap traction bar from Shelby American. Again, this is an NOS. This is an NOS uh, frame that's just lightly glued on there, and the outer piece is NOS. So you could just pull this off when you want to restore it. <laughs> Tires are new. New gas tank. Gas gauge works. The dog doesn't come with the car. <laughs> uh, seat belts look pretty good on it. So the only issue with this car really is rust. It uh, it's not horrible, but it needs. It's going to need you know front floors. Maybe you could fix the back floors. I don't know. Uh, it's not that bad the back, but the front front the front's up front by your feet is pretty bad, especially on the driver's side. The pedals are real good in the car; they move up and down straight. Uh, I guess that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.